This is a demonstration of the a priori costing platform in a native CAD system using native CAD files. We'll begin our demonstration with the CAD system on the left and the a priori cost ticker on the right. I'm going to navigate to a native CAD file, open that to the current screen, and then go ahead and push that into a priori. In a few moments you'll see this a priori cost ticker change indicating we need to do something. We'll bring this part or this part gets pushed into a priori. I then can accept the defaults and begin costing on that part. This is going to be a stock machine part done in a USA virtual production environment out of aluminum which I can mine from the CAD file or I can choose a different material from the library of materials. I've got 30 parts for five years in batches of 10. A priori has now come back from costing and we'll begin to take a look at what we have. In this part summary screen I've got component information, a routing was chosen, bandsaw 5 axis mill, grinder, mask and bench. I've got a fully burdened cost of 745. What I want to do is go in and look and see if there's any issues with that CAD file. If I navigate to features to review I've got a bunch of data in here. First thing we'll notice is if we, have, we have a side mill length to diameter issue on this surface here. You've got a long skinny end mill machining that that's going to be pretty costly. What I also have here is something called contour corner. When I have three radiuses coming together I can't face that entire surface. I have to face it and go back and pick out the corner with a ball and end mill. Then I also have in light blue these surfaces which are low finish rate meaning I have to ball mill those. And then finally on the bottom of the part I have a sharp internal corner condition. Type 1 is on the wall, type 2 is on the floor. If I need some more information on those issues, I can go to this Design to Cost tab. Within here, I can review the issues. It says I have five. We saw the side mill length, the diameter. We also have a sharp corner issue. If you don't understand what that is, you can hit the Information button and get more detailed on what this actually is and how to fix it. You can set these menus to anything you want or appropriate to your company standards. What we can also do is take a look at some of the tolerances on the model. Because we're extracting PMI data, it says a priori found four tolerances to require specialized finishes. There's a finished boring operation on the top, as well as a finished grinder. That grinder is, that is dictated by a 0.7 roughness. If I change it to 0.8, I can then get rid of that grinder and reduce cost. So what we're going to do is go into the CAD system and begin making changes, but before we do that, I'm going to save this off as a scenario and lock it as a base. We're now back in our CAD system. First thing we're going to do is change the finish on this surface from 0.7 to 0.8 RA so we can get rid of that grinder. Then we're going to fatten up this radius. We're going to go from 4 millimeters to 8. We'll then flip around to the back side of the part and add that missing round. We'll make that four millimeters. Once that's finished, I'm going to save my CAD model and then I'm going to repush it into a priori. What you'll notice here is the ticker goes gray and that's going to automatically recost the part. Once the part's been recosted, we can see the previous cost of 745. The new cost is 611. I'm then going to go back to the full client and we'll take a look at our heat map options. Here we can see that features to review is now down to only three features. And the only issue we have is a low finish rate on these surfaces. What we also notice is that in our routing, the surface grinder is gone. Now we have our savings. What I'll then do is save this and put these both in a cost comparison report. So I've got my base, which I did, and I locked. And then I'll go ahead and add the new one. This will lay these two versions side by side, and we can see the exact savings on both parts and the breakdown of how much cycle time was saved um, and dollar cost. That concludes the demonstration.